I suck at doing intros, but today we're doing goth makeup through the decades. Here are my inspiration pictures. We are doing 80s track goth. I'm starting off by doing my base and I'm mixing the Kim Chi foundation and the LA Girl white base foundation. And I'm just kind of putting that all over my face. As you can see, a little bit goes a very long way. And for this, I still wanted my skin to kind of look like natural skin tone, but also visibly lighter than my skin. Then since I don't have a concealer light enough, I'm just going in with that um, LA Girl white base again and concealing and putting it on all the high points of my face. To set my face, I'm going in with the Kim Chi, that white powder. Um, this is just like a very stark white powder and I use this pretty much all the time, even when I'm doing like quote unquote natural makeup looks. Um, I'm just using that to set my entire face since I don't have like a pure white compact powder um, to use to set the rest of my face. Now comes the hard part, doing my eyebrows. I am using the Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner and I'm starting off by doing these two little dots to make sure I get the eyebrows completely even. The good thing about having a bridge piercing is that I can see where <laughs> my eyebrows are supposed to be placed um, and that gives me kind of like an indicator. But after I draw those dots, I'm starting to draw a line downwards because for trad goth makeup, um, the eyebrows are like pointed and then super skinny. I mean, they're not always like that, but from the reference pictures that I'm watching, this is how they do it. So as you can see, I'm starting off by doing a little bit of a triangle in the corner and then extending it how I would normally do my eyebrows and just keeping it super thin. Also, I'm very sorry if you are annoyed by the gum chewing in this video. Um, I don't know why I was chewing gum in this video. I, I chew gum pretty much all the time, but I really shouldn't have been chewing gum while filming a video, so I'm sorry if that is distracting. Now starting with the eyes, I'm going in with the Team Katya palette from Trixie Cosmetics, and I'm just taking the black color and starting to contour my nose. I've been contouring my nose a little bit differently lately. I've been doing like two lines down the middle and then you know still doing like my regular nose contour um but i've been connecting it with my eyeshadow as you'll see later i make it a little bit more defined when i'm doing my eyeshadow For my cheek contour, I'm using a black shade as well, and I'm using this piece of paper to just make a very, very defined contour. Um, I'm doing it a little bit higher as well, just because I want to make my face look lifted. But as you can see, it's very, very prominent, and we want that. We want it to be super cut and strong, so that's why I'm using this piece of paper. And I'm kind of just going at it at first, and then after, I'll go and like blend it out and make it look you know, nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. 
And now I'm just prepping for eyeshadow, so I'm putting that um, loose powder under my eyes just to catch all of the fallout. We are still going to be using the um, Team Katya palette and the black shade. For all my eyeshadow looks, I always start on like the outer corner of my eye and then work my way in inwards because I just feel like that's how you get like the most seamless blend is working from the outer to the inner so as you can see I'm placing it like on the very corner of my eye and then I'm getting more product and I'm starting to push it to the corner of my eye in the front um I'm using a Trixie Cosmetics brush to do like all of this precision work I'm extending the black all the way out um, towards my eyebrows and towards my forehead. This brush is really good at like keeping the product in a concentrated place and also like blending it but not like, you know, getting the product everywhere. Um, I'm going to make sure to link everything in the description down below just in case you guys want to like check out anything. Um, I'm not sponsored at all in this video by any brand. But as you can see, I'm just bringing it inwards and I'm kind of keeping it at the top of my crease. I'm not really putting it on my lid because later we are going to be doing a cut crease. So as you can see, I'm going all the way in towards my nose. For this look, I am taking that black eyeshadow and also extending it down my nose to make like a really slope looking type of nose and I actually think it looks really good with the eyeshadow. Now for the cut crease, I'm using the REM or REM Beauty Concealer and as you can see, I'm starting super super precise and just following my natural crease but also going like a bit above it just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger and I'm also like fading it as I go towards the end of my eye. Um, this part is kind of hard to explain because cut creases are just, you know, they're hit or miss. It, it's all depending on your eye shape and how you want it to look. Um, I can kind of just let you see how I'm doing it and briefly explain it. And just setting that with the um, white loose powder and being very gentle because you don't want to wipe off any of the concealer that you just put down, so just tapping motions, not any swiping motions. Now going in with this shimmery silver color from the Team Katya palette, I'll definitely make sure to put the name in the description down below because I don't have it near me right now, but I'm just putting that on with a little packer brush. You can also do this with your fingers to start off, but I feel like just getting like that precise, you know, towards the edge of that cut crease, you want to use like a very small packer brush to put anything that has like shimmer or pretty much any lid shade just to make sure you're getting it very precise. And then I'm just going back in with that brush I was using earlier for the black and blending it into the crease just to make like a more a gradient. Um, I didn't put any product on the brush. I think it's just leftover of what was on there and I'm just, you know, blending it in there and then also going over the cut crease to make it more defined. I feel like you guys have seen me do my eyeliner like a million times, so I'm just gonna let you watch me do this eyeliner. Um, it's the same as I always do it, you know, I'm extending it pretty high up and bringing it all the way to my eyebrows. Then I'm just going back in with the black and making the, you know, nose contour a little bit more defined. Now I'm going in with this ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadow. It's the one I always use and I'm just brightening up my inner corners and I'm also putting it on the tip of my nose. Now I'm just adding some black eyeliner to my waterline and I'm also going to do my inner corner part of the wing. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called, but I left this part in because I never really show how I do the inner corner. Um, for me, this is the hardest part of the makeup. It takes me so long to get it 
like perfect i don't know if it's the shape of my eye or what but i can never get them to look even <laughs> so as you can see they are still not completely even i just i just can't perfect it for some reason it's always harder on my left eye than it is on my right eye so here you go you guys can watch me struggle doing this i mean it looks pretty good now i'm using black gel eyeliner to line my lips um i'm doing the very very pointy cupid's bow um i usually don't like to do this i just don't think it looks flattering on me but um i ended up really liking it um and i also would recommend using black gel eyeliner if you don't want your makeup to move like at all i usually set it with black eyeshadow afterwards but um yeah i'm using black gel eyeliner making my cupid's bow super super pointy and now i'm going in with like a little tiny tiny definer brush and going out in with black eyeshadow and just really defining that cut crease i just wanted it to really pop so i went back in there and now i'm just adding a little bit of black eyeshadow under my eyes and a little bit of mascara on my bottom eyelashes and then i think we're all done Here's the finished look. Let me know any other makeup suggestions or any video suggestions you guys have for me. I will start posting more consistently. I wanna do two videos a week, so please give me your suggestions. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.